Let us make way for God to enter into our lives by removing every obstacle in His path. In today's Gospel, Jesus speaks of some people who failed to respond to God because they were not ready to listen. They rejected both the preaching of John the Baptist and of Jesus. Jesus laments over the fact that these people are not willing to respond to any kind of approach made by God to reach out to them. Both Jesus and John the Baptist preached the gospel, though their approaches were very different. John was a thunderous preacher who preached in the desert, lived away from the people, eating an austere diet and practicing a penitential life. He performed no miracles. Jesus, on the other hand, preached and taught in a more gentle manner, living among the people, mingling even with sinners, ate and drank whatever food was placed before him, and performed great miracles and wonders. So we see two completely contrasting lives in Jesus and John the Baptist, though they both preached the same message from God. Dear brothers and sisters, God uses different approaches to gather different kinds of people to himself since it is difficult to appeal to everyone using one single approach. But despite these different approaches made by God, some people still rejected the message of God. They spoke ill of the messenger because they were not willing to accept the message. They rejected John the Baptist by saying that he is possessed by a demon for living and preaching the way that he did. They rejected Jesus by saying that he is a glutton and drunkard and a friend of sinners for preaching among the people and living the way that he did. No matter what approach God took to reach out to these people, they remained unmoved and unconvinced. Jesus compares such people to emotionless children who neither dance when they hear a flute playing nor cry when they hear a sad song. My dear brothers and sisters, in today's Gospel, Jesus laments this sort of hard-hearted, stubborn attitude that is unwilling to listen to anyone. Sometimes, we can be tempted to attack the messenger because their message challenges our wrong way of living. Other times, it can be a temptation for us to reject the message because the messenger or the way in which the message is conveyed to us is not pleasing. We often judge the messenger instead of evaluating the message itself. Such tendencies must be avoided at all costs and we must be open and willing to listen and accept every message that is true and good, even if we don't like the messenger or the way it is conveyed to us. Remember that Jesus was carried to Jerusalem by a donkey. God can sometimes use the most humble and unlikely people to carry His word to us. As we prepare ourselves for the coming of Jesus in the season of Advent, let us make way for God to enter into our lives by removing every obstacle in His path. Let us open our hearts, putting aside all our stubbornness and hard-heartedness, and be willing to receive His message at all times, no matter how challenging it is and no matter through whom it comes to us. As John the Baptist preached, let us prepare a way for the Lord and make His paths straight. Amen.